Hey, Coach, obviously the loss hurts, but you did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the great clubs of North American soccer. How do you feel about the performance overall going into the run-in in the MLS season, and does it hurt to lose in the way you did when it was so close toward the end? I mean, <clears throat> look, I think every time we step on the field, our mentality, and that's what I'm proud of the guys, uh, is to go out there and and and, uh, and win the game. I felt the first half, it's, it's, it's two different halves. I felt the first half that uh, <clears throat> I think we... we maybe give them a little bit too much respect. We dropped off a little too much. We knew that they were going to have a lot of the ball. But, you know, uh, we didn't have the same intensity. Uh, I think that we were chasing a little too much at the wrong time. Uh, and then when we had the ball, we weren't as sharp with the ball. We changed some things tactically the second half, uh, building three plus two, drop shack a little bit deeper than, you know, the energy level. Uh, on the ball, we were better. We created good chances, and it's just unfortunate that uh, deflection in the end uh, – we, you know, we had a, a great opportunity right before they scored to, you know, to get the first goal, but it didn't happen. The thing I'm, I'm extremely proud of the, the team, the way they competed in this tournament, finishing first. You know, obviously, we were excited to play America because I think, you know, when you play teams like this, uh, you become also better, and it's very important to test yourself against uh, a, a team like that. I felt that we um, held our own. I felt we created better chances the second half. Uh, and I think that uh, I think our fans could be proud. I know there were a lot of American fans that live here in Chicago, but I think they could be proud of the team. When America goes back, they can come and support us. Uh, the atmosphere is great, so I'm extremely proud of the guys. I think, we, like I said, represented the club, the team, and the league in the right way. We, the mentality was great. We just need to have the kind of mentality that we did the second half. Hey, Frank. Joe Chad uh, on tap sports net here in Chicago. Uh, I'm curious, after last year we have the Open Cup where – doesn't go well. Are you happy with the way the club has reestablished itself in club com or in cup competitions this summer and going in from the Open Cup into this tournament? Yeah, I mean, we talked about this before, what the goals were. I mean, the Open Cup is always a top priority for us, but I think anytime we play a tournament, you know, we, we're, we're there to win. You know, there's no point of playing if that's not the case. Look, we, with the Open Cup, I mean, it was, you know, uh, we had a great run, and then obviously things didn't go well here against Houston, but we put our best foot forward, you know, to do our best. Uh, and uh, we fell a little bit short there, and I think it was the same case here with the League's Cup. It's a great tournament, and I think we wanted to, you know, continue to play at a really high level, and I felt we did that as a team, and I think we continue to grow. Uh, and that's why I'm proud of the, the, the group and, 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 and the team, but also represented our league. And, uh, you know, when you're playing a team against... Uh, against America, I mean, it's also an opportunity to to showcase our league and, and and the players that we have, and I think we did a great job doing that. Hi, Coach Luis Peguero, Deportes y Más. You say Monday uh, facing America anywhere around the United States is like playing on their own home. And yeah. today it was not deception. Did they, some of your players know who they're facing, or do you, what was your strategy to face America tonight? No, they knew. I mean, you have. Uh, uh, a lot of Hispanic players on our team, you know, Brian Gutierrez, Mari Pineda, Carlos Teran, Miguel Navarro, Fede, Gaston. I mean, all those guys know uh, uh, what America stands in Mexico, but I also told them, you know, the big Hispanic community that we have here in Chicago. And, uh, you know, there's a big support. We played America in the past, so I felt it was a great opportunity for us. We knew that you know, we had our fans, which was great. It's always great to see Red out there, you know. Uh, but I said it's an opportunity, even though they come out to support America, because that's their club uh, back home. But, you know, depending on how we play, you can win a lot of fans over. And I felt we did that tonight. But the, the players know. They know who America is. Hi, Coach. Liz Jimenez from La Ley 107.9 FM. great to FM. see you. We haven't great seen you, see you for too. a very long time. I'm you here. need to come around more. I'm here. Okay. Uh, tell us about this. I think it was it, it was a good competition to, to be in this level with your team. Yes. How can you take this advantage and, and take this as a booster for the second half of the season of your team? It, it's yeah. going it's doing a good effort for all, all of them and how to change this page and, and change for closing the season. Yeah, it's a great question. And that's what I told the players. I think it was very important to have uh, continued to play well as a team. And I think we did this in this tournament, starting off on the road uh, in Minnesota. We uh, had a great win there. And then obviously, you know, we, we tied Puebla here. We lost in the PKs, but we finished first in the group. I think it was important to continue to play at a high level. And uh, I think when you play great competition like teams 
from Liga and Mexi, and I think it brings the best out of players. Uh, so for me, I think it's every time we step on the field, it's an opportunity to grow. And I told the players, our mentality, the way we've come together as a team, it's great. The, the, the effort that we put in the second half, the belief that we had, you know, uh, for us, it's all about the team. But you can just see, you know, the second half, the effort by the whole team. I don't want to signal players out, but you can just see also the commitment of, of Shakiri, the way he worked and the way he ran was incredible. And the belief, when you have players like that at that level, doing the little things and the work off the ball, it just lifts the whole team. There is a belief. We know, and I told them, that the last 11 games will be the hardest in the season. We did a great job to put ourselves in a great spot. Now we need to stay humble and keep working. We have four days, three, four days, to which they need a little bit of a break, and then to come back fully energized. And then, you know, our first priority is with Orlando. But take what we've done, you know, stay humble and keep working hard because everything we've done has become come from hard work and belief. And, uh, you know, how easy it is to lose that if, uh, if you don't continue to prepare and work hard. So that's the focus that I left the team with today. Gracias, gracias. Let's go to the Zoom. We have John Lupo. John, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. No, John, great point. You're, you're right. You picked that up because that was one of the things we changed tactically the second half. We talked about building always with three. We didn't do it a lot of times the first half. And I don't know. Uh, I don't understand. You know, I don't know why, because that's things that we talked about uh, and we worked on before uh, uh, playing America. The second half. Obviously, I dropped Gaston deeper, building with three, and then I, uh, you know, I brought uh, Shakiri a little bit deeper as an eight and ten with him and Dubia, and then we got on the ball. He got on the ball a lot more. We had a better flow into the game. We had more options. We were able to move the ball quicker, and, and that was a big difference. One little tactical change, and I think the whole uh, picture of the team changed. But then also the intensity and the energy uh, was much better. Uh, we were pressing, uh, we were shifting quicker, uh, and. Uh, but that little change and then the play of Shakiri, but as a whole, like you can just see his commitment. Uh, and it's been incredible to see him when he's like that. He's a game changer for sure. Anyone else here in the uh, conference room? Last one here in back. Frank, if just an update on Chris Brady having to leave early, uh, what, anything yeah, initially? Yeah, I think he was OK. I saw him. I think he's got the, I don't know if it was a need to to his back, but I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. You know, he was walking OK. I think he was more disappointed that we gave up the goal, the deflection there. But uh, I think he, he will be OK.